to my channel. Today's video is going to be great if you are a beginner in makeup, if you are experienced in makeup, if you are trying to expand your kit, if you do freelance makeup. Basically, this video is going to be great for pretty much anyone that touches makeup. I'm going to be telling you guys today all about an affordable way to expand your brush collection. So if you'd like to hear a little bit more about that, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Whether you are a working makeup artist, whether you just like doing makeup on yourself, whether you're trying to get into makeup for the first time, it's expensive. There's a lot of expensive stuff. I know, trust me. One area where it's easy to spend a lot of money is makeup brushes. I personally, when I first started getting into makeup and I started doing freelance, I invested in brush sets because I got a lot of brushes for a lower price and it also gave me a chance to try out a bunch of different brushes. Did I love them all in a set? No. I simply used the ones I like, kept those, and then normally the ones I didn't like, they just kind of sat to the side and are probably still sitting somewhere in a cup and I never even used them. But still, it's a really good way to get a variety of brushes. See what kind you like, see what you don't like. Some of them you'll keep and use. Some of them are good just to have as extras for fillers, especially if you're doing freelance. Sometimes you need seven crease brushes when you're doing a bridal party and expanding your collection with kits is a really good way to get a large variety of brushes, a large amount of brushes, and doing it at a better cost than if you were to buy them individually. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I've done a lot of stuff working with the company Vanity Planet. Um, they sent me their brush set. It is a 15 piece cruelty free brush set. So I'm gonna show you it just so you can check it out. It comes in this black leather roll, which is really convenient for travel or for carrying or even just to keep your own personal brushes in it. When you open it, it unrolls and there are the 15 brushes. Now I'm gonna go through and break down what you get in this set, but these are cruelty-free brushes. They are synthetic bristles, so that means it's not going to absorb any product. It's going to put it all on your face, so you're not gonna waste any makeup. But I'm gonna get right in and start breaking these down so you guys can see what this set exactly comes with. First of all, I wanna say I'm kind of a brush snob, so if I don't like something, I will not use it. Um, I've tried a lot of different brushes, and these are actually pretty good high quality bristles. They're very soft, they spread product very easily, they are synthetic so they're not going to absorb product, they're gonna put it right on your face, and they are cruelty free which is also a nice little extra thing too. So I'm gonna start breaking down what you get in this set. As far as face brushes, you get this short kabuki which is very soft, very nice bristles. Um, it is a smaller one. I don't know if I'd really use this on other people too much. I probably would just kind of keep this at home and use it for myself. You get a decent assortment of uh, facial product brushes in this set too. You get a flat top kind of buffing foundation brush, which is really nice. Uh, you could use this with any liquids, powders, creams. This is going to be really good for buffing and blending. You also get a traditional flat foundation brush. I'm never a huge fan of these, but they are nice to have. I find when applying concealer for a highlight, um, just to make sure you pack it on everywhere, especially on other people because um, sometimes I just use my fingers or something small or like a sponge where like this is a little bit nicer on clients when I use an actual brush to do that. Next you're just going to get this nice little powder brush. This would be really good for powders, bronzers. I uh, would use a brush like this to kind of brush away the powder after I bake under my eyes or even to blend blush or uh, bronzer or highlight for a nice blended soft look if you just kind of want to do a little extra blending. You get this nice little angled blush brush which you could also use as a contour brush which is nice. I always use a brush like this when I do my contour because I like that that angle can sit and then it'll blend upward. It just kind of effortlessly blends out contour and blush for you because it is that angle to it so it's going to disperse the product more at the bottom less at the top and give you a blend without really trying. Lastly you get this nice little fan brush. These are really good for highlighting um, for tops of the cheekbones, nose, blah 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 blah. I'm sure you've seen these before. So a fan brush is really good for highlighting the face. Also I guess this could qualify into a facial brush but you get this nice flat concealer brush um, for night, you get this nice flat, I guess this could kind of double as a face brush too, but you get this nice flat concealer brush. Um, the only reason I didn't count it in with my face brushes is because I also use a brush like this often um, for packing on shadow on the lid because it is nice and flat. It is smooth and it is good for packing color on on the lid, especially if you wet something with Fix Plus and want it to be really metallic and foiled. You can use the concealer brush also for that, so this kind of doubles as both categories. That's why I'm putting it kind of alone in the middle. You get a decent little assortment of eye brushes in this set too, which I find sometimes in other sets you don't get good blending brushes. You get more of the traditional like flat brush and that's kind of it. So I like that there's a lot more variety in this one. Just a quick rundown of what you get. You're going to get an angled one which is good for filling in brows, for doing eyeliner, if you want to do a cut crease, if you want to line the bottom 
lash line with shadow. This is a really good versatile brush to have. I have a million angled brushes, so having one more is great for me. So this one's really nice. You're also gonna get this smaller shadow brush. It's really good for smudging the bottom lash line, or if you're doing like a cut crease and you need a really concentrated brush, this one's nice and flat, so it's gonna put color on pretty densely. So this one is nice if you're doing something with those products. This is another nice flat brush that would be really good for packing on shadow all over, or like I said earlier, if you wet with Fix Plus to give a more foiled metallic look on the lid, this would be a really good brush for that too. You get this nice, short, it's blending in with my hair, so I'm gonna move it. You get this nice, short, little crease brush. It's a nice, short, domed crease. So this is gonna pack on color a little more densely than something that is nice and fluffy. This is really good if you wanna do like a really smoky crease and you really wanna concentrate the dark color in the middle there or any bright color. This is gonna give you a lot of product because it is more dense, it's not so fluffy. Now this is your fluffy crease brush. You can see there's a lot more fluff to it. It's lighter, it moves around a lot more. This is gonna be really good for blending. This is gonna be good for transition colors. It's gonna be good for blending things out, anything in the crease. It's just gonna give you a nice soft wash of color so it's not gonna be so concentrated because it isn't so densely packed. But crease brushes are crucial. I am telling you, if there's like one brush I had to use every day, it would be a fluffy crease brush because even like today, if I don't have a very detailed eye look, I'll at least wash some sort of color into my crease just to give my eye a little shape and definition. And these are great for doing that soft wash of color. It's nice, it's blendable, it spreads it out just nice and smooth and soft and just gives it that nice little effect. Lastly, you get this short little shader brush. This would also be really good on the bottom lash line or anywhere you're trying to do small detail. If you wanna smoke out the upper Upper lash line you could do that as well this is another just nice dense short little smudgy brush you get these two brushes this one is a regular lip brush but I love that this is included in this set because this is not something you usually find in a brush set it is a lip brush with a cover so Doing touch-ups on the go, you don't want to have this open carrying in your purse or if you're touching up for a wedding, you don't want to be carrying this around because you're going to have product on it. It's going to be getting on everything. So this is super, super convenient for that. I love that this is in this set. This was a total game changer for me. When I saw this, I was like, oh my God, retractable lip brush? Like, who are you, Vanity Planet? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in a brush set, that there's actually one with a lid so you can carry it with you. Super convenient. So I was pretty much sold on that product right there. So these brushes are a great way to expand your kit, to try different things, to have more at home. Um, what I usually do with a kit like this is I'll go through and I'll try them and I'll see which ones I like and then I'll order duplicates so I have one for home and one for my clients because for sanitary reasons you do not want to use the same brushes on other people as you use on yourself. So I'll usually order duplicates of the type of brush that I like best. If I see it works for me and I know it'll work well on other people, I'll just order a couple of them just so I have it back up. The style of these brushes is also so cool. I love that it's a wooden handle. It's very like natural eco looking. It's very sleek. They're not flashy like bright colors or anything. They're neutral so they're not gonna be super eye catching. They're gonna be nice and look professional if you're doing work. I just, I love this brush set. It's totally a good steal if you guys are looking to get a bunch of affordable brushes because you know, as always, we're balling on a budget. I'll let you guys know how you can get this entire set for $30. So I will have the link in the description bar on YouTube. Go down in there and there will be the link. Um, I will also put it on the screen here if you are watching this somewhere else. The website you wanna to go to to steal this whole set of cruelty-free, great synthetic hair brushes, you can go to vpwow.com slash 24 brush set. I will have it on the screen here. I will have the link on YouTube so you can click it to take you right to the page and you want to use the code 24 brush set. I will put it on the screen right here again. That is going to get you this whole set for $30. This is a great deal. Do not pass this up. Even if you don't love all of the brushes, you're getting 15, so you're bound to like some of them. And some higher-end brushes at MAC and some other counters can cost over $20, $30 for one brush by itself. So you're getting 15 pieces for the price that you would pay for one brush somewhere else. Make sure you guys head over to Vanity Planet and take advantage of this steal. These brushes are so high quality, I was shocked. I didn't know if they were gonna be so great just because it was kind of a little deal package, but I am really impressed with the quality of these brushes. I will definitely be using them in my kit and on myself. So go ahead, make sure you guys take advantage of this steal today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything else. But until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Telling you guys today all about the Vanity Planet. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my affordable way to expand product. Left, so it's gonna disperse the product. It just kind of effortlessly. Oh my God, what am I doing today? Okay.